Hello one and all and welcome to the Math Magic Show. <laughs> Alright, this one take a look at finding the following limit. The limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x to the x. For example, when x has the value like 0.1, then this is 0.1. The limit says it's 0.1 raised to the 0.1. For example, when x has the value 0.01, then it's 0.01 raised to the 0.01. If you look at that, you will see that it approaches 1. But usually you have to show this mathematically in a somewhat rigorous fashion. So the next concept that is relevant is this one. Understanding that any number can be, or function almost, can be written as e to the ln 2. And the reason for that is that e and ln are inverses. So you can take a number and write it as e to the ln of 2, or whatever that function even is. So in other words, you could cross this off, you see, and it would give you back the 2. That's useful because now we have x to the x, we need to rewrite it using e. So it's going to look like this, take a look. The limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the ln of x raised to the x. Now you might remember that there's a rule for logs which says that anything in the exponent here can be brought and placed in front of the logarithm, the power rule that is. So this will become the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of e to the x ln of x. Now the e function, the basic exponential, is continuous, which means you can take the limit and place it in the top. So again, the e function is continuous. For that reason, you can take the limit, put it in the top. So I'm going to have e instead raised to the limit. Limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x ln of x. Now this is already interesting. Perhaps you have found the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the ln of x, but in case you haven't, let me just remind you how that operates with some pictures. So, take a look here. I'm going to draw a small graph, and the ln function looks like this, which means that as you approach zero, the ln function goes down towards negative infinity over here, when you approach zero from the right side. Whereas the x, that approaches, that's just the x function that looks like this, that approaches zero, right here. So then you end up with something, roughly speaking, that looks like this. 0 times negative infinity. Now, remember, you have to be really careful. It's not actually 0 times negative infinity. It's just what the x approaches and what the ln approaches. But usually we just express it in this compact form. So this is suggesting that we should use L'Hopital. So to use L'Hopital, we first have to prepare as follows. I will say x ln of x is equivalent to ln of x over 1 over x. And the reason is that this is keep change flip. So in other words, you would keep the ln, you would change the division to multiplication, flip the 1 over x, which would give you x multiplying ln x. Just like the on the left side of the equals at this step. So that means this is now going to become e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of x over 1 over x. But now think about this carefully because this is ln of x that goes towards negative infinity and 1 over x goes towards positive infinity. Here, you end up with this kind of competition, negative infinity over positive infinity, instead of 0 times negative infinity. So for that reason, you can hit this with L'Hopital. So this is going to give us now e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Differentiate ln x, that's 1 over x. Okay, division symbol, differentiate the bottom, which is negative 1 over x squared. And then over here, at the next step, let's simplify this fraction a little bit over here. So I'm going to have the following. Take a look. 1 over x divided by negative 1 over x squared. So I will have 1 over x. Keep change flip, that is. So negative x squared over 1. So simplify that, and that's going to give you negative x. Then you just plug that into the exponent over here. So I'm going to have e to the limit as x approaches 0 from the right. Now at this point you can just replace x with 0 directly. So you end up with e to the 0 which is 1. And this here is officially the value of the limit done in great detail right here. That's our answer, positive 1. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It all makes a difference. And I hope you've enjoyed our little mathematical adventure. <laughs>